Chi Town is shy visitors, that is, as unions place a stranglehold on major convention sites. It's causing an exodus to more user friendly cities like, like Vegas and Orlando. Chicago is looking to privatize convention centers to limit the union's hold on costs and bring in some big businesses back to my hometown. Let's bring in liberal radio show host Leslie Marshall and conservative columnist Essie Cup for more on this. All right, I'm going to set it up with you, Essie. If unions are so bad for uh -huh. convention centers, what are they good for? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, even if we accept the premise that, that unions exist to protect the worker, it's always at the expense of other workers. If a, a small business owner comes to a convention and has to pay an electrician $1,200 to plug in their computer, well, good for the electrician, bad for the small business owner. When the small business owner then leaves and takes his business elsewhere, bad for the electrician. So nobody wins. Okay, Leslie, I've used this line a bunch of times before. Unions have priced themselves out of the job market here in Chicago, no less. You know, the, the hometown of Mr. Obama, the hometown of many, many union leaders. Um, what's going on? They, they're tired of unions. Well, it's not tired of unions. America's been doing this for years, Eric. Remember when it used to be a sin to buy something that said made in China or to drive a Japanese or German automobile? Americans and corporations within America have sacrificed quality for quantity. We want the, the quick fix and the quick buck. What unions have done, to answer your question, Eric, is they established the middle class as we know it in America. And without unions, we're already seeing an erosion of the middle class. And I fear the future will be the haves and the have-nots and ask Marie Anne Antoinette, that didn't work out so well Leslie, for her. Leslie, Leslie, we keep seeing, but we keep talking about, we bring this up on this show, unions spe speaking for members, uh, actually uh, causing job losses. The members come back saying, hey, don't do us any favors anymore. There's no wonder union numbers are dropping like a rock. Union numbers are dropping like a rock because there are intimidation and harassment factors that are taking place throughout every state in this country when there are so many Americans that want to unionize. Whoa, Quite whoa, frankly, whoa, whoa, whoa. we all You're know not, that unions wait, wait, are the backbone of this Are you trying country? to say that, that people who want to be in the union uh, number, are, are they're being harassed to not join unions? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that people who want to unionize within, di within uh, different sectors uh, in the United States are being intimidated right. and harassed by right. the corporations not to. I think As the he... unions would be a little offended at the assertion that they are being kept out of, people are being kept out of unions. I think the unions are very good at, ca at getting really? people Really? Why is there legislation in Washington that shows otherwise that the unions have been pushing for? so that Americans, if they choose to unionize, can have that, which is their right. You know, I, I liken this to the organic food industry. The organic food industry strong, strong arms consumers into spending $9 on something they could get down the street for $3. And when you don't buy the $9 piece of broccoli, they're going to tell you you're a terrible person and you're not helping the little guy, the little guy being the broccoli farmer in upstate New York. Meanwhile, it's a billion dollar industry that has become a special interest, just like the unions. Wait, Leslie, I'm going to let you well, weigh I, in I on that, but, but, but here, look, the auto, the U.S. auto workers, look at uh, GM and Chrysler bankrupt, out of business, kaput, unless we saved them, yet there was no negotiation, renegotiation of the UAW contract, I don't know, 73 bucks an hour, whatever you want to call it. 47, but add in legacy, it comes to 73. Unions are pricing themselves out of jobs, pricing their companies out of, the, out of, out of uh, competitiveness. I disagree. And you have to remember, when you're looking at a union and the protection they, they, they provide for their worker, as SC said and, and agrees with me on, that you also have to look at the package that it comes with. There are pension plans. There are health care plans. And this, as you know, Eric, it, it, even in a bad economy, is a good thing because it takes the burden off of the federal government, A, and B, it puts more purchase no, no, power Leslie, don't, into the don't workers' words hands, in my mouth. which in a, bad, a good or Leslie, bad economy Leslie, is a Leslie good Marshall, thing. Leslie Marshall, I've never said unions are a good thing nor anything they do. Here's the thing, Essie. But you know, I, I see, you know on, Eric, that simple on, economics 101 is supply and demand. Supply and, with, and demand, and, and absolutely. That, and that's right. So when you, artificially, when you artificially increase the, the, the wage you pay someone, mm -hmm. you're taking that... You're, you're making it more difficult for them to be competitive than that company to be competitive. Real quick, we're going to run out of time, Essie. Um, is there a place for unions in America still? Uh, I think we'd have to go back to the beginning. We'd have to start with the intent that unions once had, which was to protect the worker. This flies in the face of proletariat politics now. When, when, you, when you can, you know, you have to pay someone $1,200 to plug in a computer. That is not protecting the worker. It's a perversion of capitalism. Leslie, if I have a choice to hire a union guy at, at uh, $27 an hour or a non-union guy at 13 
guess where I'm going? Well, again, you get what you're paying for, Eric. You get what you pay for. Well, what are you, are you trying to tell me that if, unless you have a union card, you're not qualified, you're not a good worker, you're not going to produce? No, I'm, cer I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm certainly not saying there are a lot of people that don't have union cards that like to, but I you know, talked about that already. What I'm saying is you have to look at experience and you have to look at regulations and guidelines, which somebody outside of a union doesn't have. Uh, quite frankly, I, I hear you can even get some illegals there to do that job for you real cheap. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it should, should be in America. 14.6 million people out of work in America. They love to have jobs. They love to have a That's union right. job. They probably take a lot less for it than the union That's members right. make. And they also like but, to have But Eric, Eric, I know the show's called Money Rocks, and, I, and I love you even though capitalism is your god. But one of the reasons <laughs> we have such outsourcing <laughs> of manufacturing and an erosion of the middle class is because it was cheaper to get folks in India at call centers, in China and Mexico, uh, to put together sneakers like go, Nike. Go you know, you, vote, you, 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 can't, you can't win on the left you vote with your pocketbook and you're, you're you know you're a villain when you do it and it goes against the unions you vote with your pocketbook and it's good for the unions and you're a-okay you're a hero I you don't cannot vote with my win. pocketbook I think you have my party confused with yours no well, I, I, vote, I, I when I vote for my pocketbook I vote for more distribution that is equally spread out which a lot of you like right. to mask under the umbrella of damned socialism. if you do damn I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to have have and have not I want to maintain the middle class I'm a proud daughter and right daughter and take from the and, right and take from the rich to do it and penalize the worker by the way at the same time no, the, the, the corporations have penalized workers because the corporations are so greedy. They left this the isn't United corporations. States. This is unions these. penalizing workers. The Leslie. unions are not penalizing workers. They're trying to protect workers. They are. That's why the Chicago legislature just passed a bill of rights for convention exhibitioners because they were being penalized by unions. Last word, Essie. You're going to have to leave it there. Leslie Marshall, Essie Cup. You guys are great. And by the way, capitalism is not my God. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> apologizing for it. But it's not my God. All right.